Swimming the channel next. Very good for me. How come? Because, bum, I'm committing it to memory so I can conjure it up on cold winter evening. Three, four, eight, four. Can you tell? He's always hanging around her, talking about her, taking her out for meals. Oh, so she's definitely after him then. I expect she'll be after me next. <laughs> if only you and Diana hadn't split up, she'd soon have a filthy troll back to the fields. We haven't split up. We are just taking a break from each other. I can handle any crisis round here just as well as Diana. And stop! And stop! That was pretty good, wasn't it? Look, I try so hard for you people. I'm embarrassed on your behalf. Inga, may I apologize and offer you lunch? That's most kind. Jenny, inform the others that lunch will be delayed by one hour while Inga and I dine alone. Inga. Diana would have killed him for this. Look at her. Slut! <laughs> what is she saying with this slut? Oh, it's an old Celtic greeting. It means, oh, welcome, fair maid of the frozen north. Oh, I must cry when I get home. Hello, mother, I will say. Slut! <laughs> Chubby chops. Isn't this lovely? A nice walk in a posh park. No Harvey Baines getting up my nosy. No Jane wailing round my ankles. And no Tom. No Tom. There, my little didy dumpkins. Do you see that pidgey widgey? Nice plump pidgey widgey for Hello, dinner. <laughs> what? Nanny. <laughs> Do you hear that? Posh Nanny thinks I'm your Nanny Wanny. Well, I suppose I am, since I fired the real one. She was a right bitchy witchy, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Let's park our body here, shall we? <coughs> Baby walking larks are a bit knackering. <laughs> Maybe we'll take cabs in future. Hmm? Come on, let's get your rug nice and comfy. There we are. Mm. Hello, Nanny. And whose mummy do you belong to? <laughs> My mummy's Sarah Perry. That's Mrs. Perry. Is it, little one? Well, near enough. Hubby's done a runner. The baby's nanny doesn't know that this bench is used only by the nannies of titled mummies. Does she? What? <laughs> mummies nannies only on this bench. Well, little one, you'd better tell Nanny Hitler here yeah? <laughs> that Nanny Diana is a well-known psychotic. <laughs> and you'd better tell her that the world has moved on in the last hundred years. And if she starts treating Nanny Diana like some refugee from upstairs downstairs, then Nanny Diana is likely to rummage behind your bunny rug, pull out her favorite axe, and start chopping bits off her fat head. She's way to the piggy market. <coughs> Revolution comes to Kensington. <laughs> you really love these, Dan. Look, Jeffrey, I'm very grateful for the way you've redecorated the place, but I'm quite happy with the shelves the way they are. No, no, your ratio of wall to shelving space is way below your optimum capability. Don't you worry, you'll have shelves all over the place by the time I finish. Jeffrey, something wrong, Dad? Look, Jeffrey, I know you have hundreds of yards of shelving in your house, but we don't need any more shelving here. Really, we haven't anything to put on any more shelves. Well, you could always store extra shelves on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeffrey. Oh, OK, then. How about the bathroom? Lots of extra space there. No. Corridor? Jeffrey. Sorry, I get a bit shelf mad sometimes. Well, it's better than drink, I suppose. This is my marriage. You see, there are things that I get from a piece of pine shelving that I don't really get from my wife. <laughs> Fidelity, sobriety. Even sleeping with a bit of shelving would be less harrowing than with marriage. <laughs> You can rely on a shelf. A shelf doesn't run off with known criminals. A decent shelf just hangs in there for you, stays steady. A decent shelf knows how to support your condiments. <laughs> a decent shelf. Dan? We're not boring, no, am I? No, of course not. I just thought I'd take a little bit of a nap. You've only just got up. And very tiring it was, too. <laughs> See you in a bit. Oh, I can manage. I don't need Diana. Oh, well, maybe I should just ring up and tell her it's all under control. <laughs> yeah! Oh! I'm fine. I have just gouged a lump out of my hip. <laughs> Nothing that can't be fixed by a good carpenter. Uh. Oh, God. Why can't they make disposable clothes for these dwarves? <laughs> Baby's mess is my responsibility. You just go and run your brothel. <laughs> it's a model agency. Oh, it's the same thing. It's a whorehouse of the mind. <laughs> Can we have less chat than the staff, please? Why do 
Where's this child throw her toys around? <laughs> She's probably trying to hit you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You're not getting fed up with nannying, are you? Oh, good Lord, no, I love it. Getting up in the middle of the night, being peed on and bitten. <laughs> <laughs> up to your elbows in poo now. <laughs> doll's house. <laughs> Hello, Lady Max Residence Nanny <laughs> Oh, hello, good Tom. What ho, old thing? How's everything? So things are fine, then. That is roughly what I was saying. <laughs> so, how are things here, then? What? Oh, no, of course. Uh, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> <laughs> how are things there? Oh, brilliant, wonderful, marvellous, fine. Uh, fine. Managing without me, then? Well, jolly good. And Jeffrey's moved in for a while? Oh, my God, you poor thing. <laughs> no, it's great fun. We are rebuilding the kitchen. Why has he moved in? Marion's gone off with a criminal. He thought I might be lonely. And are you lonely, Tom? Of course not. You? Oh, God, no. God. I mean, I'm in London. Wild times all round. Right. Same here. Lots of fun. Definitely doing the right thing, then. Absolutely the right thing. Well, that's good. Yes. I've got to go. Can you come in? Have you got Johnny Weismuller around there? <laughs> I'll ring you back. I'll ring you back, Tom. I think I can hear Sarah calling. <laughs> now then. You all right? Oh, what do you think? I've broken my ankle. I doubt it. If you'd broken your ankle, you'd be yelling in pain. No! No, sounds more like no. a twist. <laughs> God, how could you do such a stupid thing? Well, no point in blaming yourself. <laughs> I'm blaming you. You put toys on the stairs. Well, you don't have to tread on them. <laughs> You're the worst nanny I've ever had. Really? I thought I was rather good. I found used nappies in the microwave. <laughs> it's an easy mistake. <laughs> My baby swore me this morning. Well, she's uh, <laughs> learning to talk. <laughs> Most of the time she's just yelling. Well, that is because she thinks you ought to be spending more time with her. Oh, for goodness sake, the whole point of having a nanny is to take away the mother's guilt of having a career, not have it rammed down her throat. No, it's not broken. Try standing on it. Go on. Oh, I can't! No! You'll have to stay off it for a few days. Keep it up. Oh, great. I meant to go and look at some new models this morning at some new fashion show. Because of you, I might miss out on the new imam or evangelista. What are they? Religious festivals? <laughs> They're top models. You need them to make top commissions. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea. Why don't I Forget it. Absolutely not. No way are you representing me anywhere. Oh, that's settled then. <laughs> oh, God, me. That's so good. Oh. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs>
Ти край съм сита. of uh, sort of outdoor sports as sort of, well, indoor sports. Volleyball? No, no. More sort of, you know, indoor wrestling, bedroom sports. You know, ooh, ooh. Eh? <laughs> Inga? Inga, what are you doing? No, Inga, no, no, not my face. No, In Inga, put that down. No, look, that, that, that's my computer. Oh, no, 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 Inga! <laughs> Half his seduction technique doesn't seem to have improved. <laughs> Everything here? Oh, fine. Yes, Diana, I'm handling it all quite well, thank you. What was that? Would I like to spend the day looking at lovely young ladies? <laughs> What's the address? <laughs> yes. Yes, okie dokie. See you later. <laughs> Looks like Diana needs my assistance. Bound to happen. Look at this. Oh, the Eiffel Tower. That's nice. It's from Marion. Uh, what does it say? I can't read it through the brandy stain. <laughs> Dear dreary knickers. <laughs> you see, Dad, a shelf would never talk to you like that. <laughs> Go on. Weather here terrible. Wish you weren't. <laughs> Dickie says, who's Jeffrey? Ha, 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 isn't he a laugh? <laughs> and it's signed Mary. I can't even remember her own name. <laughs> Dickie. You mean she's in Paris with Dickie Attenborough? <laughs> <laughs> he must have made it to Switzerland. Good show, Dickie. <laughs> Dickie Biggs, a criminal friend. What am I going to do? Oh, well, uh, let's think. Let's ask Diana, eh? I'm perfectly capable of giving you good advice without asking for Diana's assistance. All right, then. Dear Marge, mm -hmm. my wife is shacked up in Paris with a man who has done time for armed robbery. I don't want a divorce. What do I do? Ah, well, uh, hmm. Simple choppers. We fly in low underneath the radar. <laughs> drop on the balcony, stun grenades, in through the windows, mow down the bad guys, grab the woman, back to the chopper, and off we go. Could I just have Diana's number? <laughs> oh, John! She isn't. I'm handling things now. So what's wrong? It's that woman. She's trying to kill my Harvey. How? Sex. Sex <laughs> <laughs> word. Oh, my poor, my poor baby. He has weak bones. <laughs> Those thighs of hers. She'll crunch him up like a little bag of broken bricks. <laughs> Please call Diana. There must be something we can do. 
Never mind, Diana. I have a solution. What? Um, decisive action. What? Um, I know. Buckets of water, like with dogs. <laughs> I am not here. Oh, get him, get him. Harvey? I am not here. Harvey? She bit a piece out of my desk. She's not here, Harvey. Are you sure? Yes, Harvey. Oh, my poor oh, baby. Please, Jane, please don't touch me. Sorry, Harvey. I never want to be touched by anyone ever again. What did she do? She not only assaulted my person, she threatened to sue me for sexual harassment. Oh, dear, what are you going to do? Well, what do you think I'm going to do, Jane? I don't know, Harvey. Has anyone got Diana's number? Oh. <laughs> I give up. Come on, everybody. Follow me. Fifteen quid, love. Hell are we? Essex, darling. Don't choke on the Norex. Oi, how about a two? Red rum in the National. You <laughs> are. Stop off. <laughs> He's right, of course. What do I know about what appeals to the youth of today? What do they know about what appeals to the old of today? Or could any of us give a toss either way? <laughs> You're right, sweetie. What? Look, um, we've got a show on here today, darling. And we don't want mumbling or bag ladies cluttering the place up, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Take a couple of quid. And go buy yourself a bottle of taps or something. <laughs> Now, oh, silly old bat. What ho, old thing? Tom! Oh, it's good to see you. Listen, give an old broad a hand up, will you? Athletic Brunhilde. Hey, harassment, Liam, is quite ridiculous. And Geoffrey wants to know what to do about Marion. She's run off again. And Basil, what's your problem? I hear you're looking for young women. I'm a quality control expert. <laughs> I wouldn't harass. 
supply. The woman's mad. I never laid a finger on her or anything else. Later, I'm supposed to be working here. Diana, this is serious. Well, it's not actually. Your problem is really extremely trivial compared Look, to Jeffrey, mine. Jeffrey, do you mind? I'm trying to talk to Diana. Yes, so am I. My wife's in Paris with a gangster. So what else is me? <laughs> Just shut up the mirror. I you. could lose my job. I could lose my wife. Well, then count your blessings. You'll be well rid of that damn tar. <laughs> what did you call my wife? Sit down, Jeffrey. What's your problem, Jeffrey? I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> what did you call my wife? A damn tar. What everyone else calls her. That's what she is. Right, you bloody pervert. You're for it. Game! Game! to be of service, madam. to be a man. I was pretty good in there. And now I'm going to go to Paris, storm that hotel, grab Marion and punch her dicky on the nose. <laughs> uh, 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 just putting a plan of mine into operation. Basil? <laughs> you let that girl back at once? Coming half. Back to the black hole that is Bayview. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up. Oh, good grief. What's the matter? I think there must be something wrong with my eyesight. Has Geoffrey been at these walls with a tube of stripy toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> That's a new wallpaper. Don't you like it? I feel as if I'm in a glass of mouthwash. <laughs> Jeffrey had a job lot in the back of his car. Oh, he would, wouldn't he? He says it's considered very tasteful. Oh, it is. Dead tasteful. <laughs> Fringe-makingly tasteful. Oh, God, I hate good taste. It is so lacking in courage. It is so tasteless. Oh, it's nice to have you back. <laughs> she doesn't change, does she? Oh, I don't know. She's a bit more cheerful. Hello? Oh. Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, will you shut up? Thank you. Now, I am sorry that I have ruined your name in the fashion industry, but I'm sure it will recover. Well, most of those prancing ninnies only have memory spans of about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yes, well, that is where you are wrong, because I have found you a very lovely model who will make you a great deal of money. Her name is Inga Nordstrom. Yeah, yes, yes, she's a lovely girl with a very winning personality and a fine left hook. <laughs> All right, give my love to my baby and tell her I hope she gets on with the new nanny. Bye. <laughs> There you are, Harvey. And next time, keep your grubby little hands to yourself. Harvey. What? Don't you have something to say? No. <laughs> Diana's just got you out of big, messy poos. <laughs> How about saying the T word? T word? What T word? Thank you, Harvey. Well, that's perfectly all right, Jane. Isn't it? <laughs> Strange woman. I'm sorry. No, it's all right, Jane. It's nice to know that some things never change. Hello. Oh, gracious! My daughter-in-law from hell. Hello, Marion. How ghastly to see you. I thought you were swinging from the chandeliers in Paris. I was on a brief cultural visit. But my wonderful husband popped over to escort me home. Which husband is your wonderful husband? I <laughs> knew you had two. I was referring to Geoffrey. My dear, beloved Geoffrey. Oh, what a man. What a body. What, what a, a load of cobblers. <laughs> God, he's hit you and you've gone soppy on him. Don't you dare set back the women's movement 50 years. No, no, it was Dickie who hit me. It was Jeffy who hit him. <laughs> he's his father's son, you know. <laughs> he, uh, he said it was you two who put the lead back in his pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, uh... I hope you don't die. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> My God, if she's wishing us well, we are in trouble. Yeah. Can't possibly start being nice at our age. I have to take refresher courses in being vile. How did you do that? Oh, I don't know. I'm too fagged to fight right now. Ah, so you're definitely back if you'll have me there is nothing i would like more in the whole wide world thank you tom oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well now i think we should now sort out oh those things <clears throat> that are making us crabby with each other. Are you sure that's why? Oh, yes, yes. I've uh, worked out a few solutions. Wait a minute. Here we are. Now then, first, ah, yes. First of all, two television sets in here. Well, that's ridiculous. OK. I give up. We'll have yours. No, 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 we'll have yours. Oh, no. I don't mind. No, 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 I insist. <laughs> oh, well... Jolly good. Yes, I'll put mine in my bedroom. Oh. Now. You mean you'll have a TV set to watch in bed and another to watch out here while I only have this one here? Your choice, Tom. Now, about furniture. <laughs> I think we should get rid of all your tat and just use mine. Why? <laughs> Well, you've just won the day over which television set we should watch, so it's only fair I should win the day over which furniture we should sell. Oh, I see. Now, about your hoovering habits. Oh, dear, here we go again. No, now, I think that you should be able to hoover as much as you want. That's more like it. But not before 8 a.m. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nor at any other time when I'm in the house. <laughs> Not while you're in the house. In winter, you sometimes stay in for days. We could be feet thick and filth. If I agreed to that, 
In fact, I don't agree to any of this stuff. You get two tennis while I have to sit on your rotten sofa, and now you want me to live in a pigsty? Forget it. This is my place. What did you say? I am the landlord round here. We do it my way. You swine! <laughs> you were trying to trick me. I was trying to talk sense into your fat head, and now you betray me. I am never going to talk to you again. And that'll be too soon. Ow! Oh, isn't that nice? Everything back to normal again. <laughs> 